Well, when I came on the trip, I really did not know anything about climate change. Um, like everyone else in America, I've heard about it and certainly heard the controversies surrounding it, but really didn't have enough firsthand information to formulate um, an informed opinion. It is undeniable that uh, weather patterns are affecting people around the world. Uh, families are suffering, children are suffering, um, and the church needs to pay attention and, and do something to help these, uh, our brothers and sisters. You know, as I look at relief and development all around the world, especially in communities that are impacted by climate change, you're seeing years of development, and yet with climate change, they're moving backwards because of of the way that they have to adapt to what's happening around them. And so I really hope that it's not just a message to the church, but we can also look at how do we um, invest in programming that helps people um, deal with the impacts of climate change. If I could uh, have one dream fulfilled uh, today, we would challenge and mobilize and um, help to uh, encourage our leaders uh, in the U.S. to partner with men and women of faith all over the world, like uh, in places like Malawi, to uh, see the poorest communities in the world transform the way we want to see our communities in the U.S. transform. I've been reflecting over the last few days that we've been here on the scripture. Um, when did I see a river dried up and not flowing, and I kept driving all the cars I drove? When did I see uh, you not being able to feed your family because there's less rain uh, and I kept burning the fuels that I burned. Um, perhaps those become the questions when we think about climate change. <laughs>